What's up guys, welcome back to Call of the Wild the Angler. Today we're going to do uh, two missions in one. The first one is going to be this Noken Yoen Fishing Challenge number one. Uh, where we catch a bronze rank European perch. And the other mission is that we're going to, we have to catch a fish with that new fishing rod that we got. So this should knock out both of them in one, theoretically speaking. Uh, so we went ahead, activated that, and it should show up on our map where we gotta go. I would imagine, or maybe not. I mean, that's, that's cool too. <laughs> um, criminy. It's because I already found the location, and that's why it's being stupid. Uh, so it's right behind the uh, fishing place, our, our tackle place. Okay. Easy enough. So that's going to be down here. So there's that. It looks like it's this one here. So we got the two barrels right behind the fishing place. There's the red buildings. We should be good right here. All right, uh, let's see, it's number three. Yes, that did, ooh. I like the engraving on that rod. Nice. Um, I, I'm just float fishing. I, I see fishies, so let's just uh, do that. We'll see if they bite. I don't know if they will or not. All right, so we got a bronze. I think that's all we had to get, right? It was a bronze. <laughs> Um, it is a European perch. We caught a fish, so that should be, uh, we should be good. We'll go ahead and do that. Now we gotta find the reel. Oh my god. But we did complete the fishing challenge, so yay, us, we rule. Alright, uh, poo. So that is main missions. Find the reel. Let's activate that. The warden and shopkeeper have set up a challenge to find and use some unique pieces of gear. Listen to the warden. So we got to go all the way back to the warden? Oh, uh, she was down here. You look like you've got a tale to tell. We'll get to it later. When I was tracking down Stallo, I heard rumors of reels. I'll text the clues over now. Hold us, Elena. Oh man, the reel is gonna be like another scavenger hunt thing. Son of a gun. Um, right. West of the tiny pupil in the eye of the lake lies your prize up high in the tide's wake. So it looks like we got a bridge. Then we have another lookout tower. Did I seriously forget to get this? So off camera, I went through and like got a whole bunch of stuff. I could have swore I did this, but apparently I went over here and forgot to do this. Huh, oh well. Um, either that or that's where we need to go. So west of the pupil's eye, or whatever I yeah. so here we got here so maybe west of this maybe this watchtower right 
<laughs> I don't know. So you gotta go over a bridge from a town west of the tiny pupil in the eye of the lake lies your prize up high in the tide's wake. I mean, this seems natural, right? It's west. Here's the pupil. We do have to go over a little bridge. Can we fast travel over here? We're going to try it. We're going to see if it's up here in this watchtower. And it is. Look, you can already see it glowing. How cool is that? All right. That was a good guess. Alright, so the next clue, we got music? Music notes. I sit up on I sit on a ridge up high, staring directly into the eye. Head to the foot of where the glaciers rest if you wish to only disturb our contest. Alright, I think I found it. Yes, I do believe we did. I think. Other than that, or is, this is a clue for something else. That's the hard part is... Ah, oh, man. Well, I mean, it's sitting on a ridge up high, and it's looking directly into the eye. So I, I think we're... I think this is it. It is. All right, cool. And then we got to go to another one on the other side. Tears crashed from the lid of the eye, stood on the edge of what makes the lake cry. So there's another waterfall over there, and I'm thinking that is uh, what we're talking about. It's like a double waterfall. So that would kind of like be the lid of the eye. Tears crash from the lid of the eye, so that makes sense. That would be the waterfall. Stood on the edge of what makes the lake cry. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be that waterfall. So I'm going to head over there now. I do have a boat. I ended up just getting a boat to make it quicker. To get around this lake. All right, well, it looks like I finally found it. I did. So, I went up this side, and I, I, I kid you not, I went all the way up here. I finally crossed and worked my way back down, and it was right bloody here, man. I can see my boat from here. Uh, follow the clues and find the real. So it looks like we're going right on the eye. Stare deeply and you'll find me. Alright, so now it looks like we're going to the island itself. And of course, my boat is on the wrong flipping side. I wonder if I can get to it. And there we go. We found it, boys and girls. We found it. Wait. This looks like the chest I... There's something else up with all this. Because that chest is the same chest that I found right up over here. Oh, man. Okay, whatever. Well, that was ominous. We got the hund. Bring the reel to the shopkeeper. I, I kind of don't want to. I kind of just want to put it on. Um, yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. Actually, it's going to be in our backpack, isn't it? Hoond! 
Oh, and that matches perfectly too. Spinning 0 0.016 inches, not bad. It's better than this, which is what I'm currently using. All right, um, a mysterious reel named after the Stalos Hound. Okay, well, we got to take it back to the shopkeeper, so let's head back up to the shopkeeper. Looking to graduate from your junior? I'll get the real cleaned up. I let Astri do the monster killing. She's much better at it than uh, me. As for a name for the rod, um, how about uh, Stallo himself? Here's your reel. How about you take it for a spin? Ha and fiend dog. All right, so we now have the reel, which is fine. Um, so we're going to replace it with this, I guess. So I'll throw that on. This can do 0.16, though, which is better than this. So I'm going to go back and set up for uh, something else. Um, 0.16. All right. And uh, we'll go from there. All right. So I'm pretty sure I found where uh, the next fishing challenge is. And if we do something like that picture right there, I think that's perfect. It looks pretty close. So we've got the outpost there, or the um, observation tower there, the lighthouse there, the front of the boat here, the front of the cruise ship, and then we've got these trees right here, and then this stuff in the foreground, right? We do that, and we've got the front of the boat, we got the trees, the stuff in the foreground, the lighthouse, and the observation tower. I think this is it. Um, so I set up with um, the uh, Stalo, the Hund, the .016 fluorocarbon bubble bobber. I'm trying a number seven with pearl barley. Uh, we're supposed to catch a bronze ranked roach. I don't know if number seven is too big. I might have to do like a number eight. Uh, but either way, uh, we're going to go for it. But that's going to be in the next video. So, hey, if you guys like this video, if you like what we're doing, uh, hit that like button. If I've earned it, hit the subscribe button. And as always, be safe, be cool, and have fun. We'll catch you in the next one.